which TVs are hot this Black Friday and which TVs are not. I'm going to let you guys know that answer as I go through a couple of deals where people are going to say, hey, these are the best deals available. And I want you to pump your brakes on some of them because they're not necessarily the best deal. And I'll explain why that is and the other options that are available to you. It will be kind of random which TVs I go through, but I want to hit on a lot of these TVs because I do think it is really important to educate you guys on some of the best Black Friday deals out there. Whether or not they are advertised as a Black Friday deal or not, sometimes they're advertised as a Black Friday deal and they're actually not that great. I just want to remind you that even though we're using Best Buy to check out the Black Friday deals, this video is not sponsored by Best Buy. But if you want to support the channel when buying your next TV, you can do so by using one of my affiliate links in the description below. It doesn't matter what retailer you use, and doing so is going to help the channel grow and get more TVs in for review. Thank you guys so much for your support. Let's get on to the rest of Black Friday deals. The 65-inch X90L, or really the X90L in any size, I can consider this a pretty good TV overall. I've seen this TV in person and I really do like everything that I've seen about this TV. It carries the same type of characteristics as any other Sony TV. It does have the XR clear for the processing. So there's a lot to love about the Bravia XR processor in general. And when you put it in combination with some of the better TV technology out there, full array local dimming or OLED technology, you are getting a great TV. So in this case, we are doing full array local dimming and it is going to be a good TV for most people. And I think that this or the QM8 or the U8K for a lot of people, that's going to be like, which one do I get? I think if you're somebody who watches a lot of TV, does a lot of streaming, then I would go with this over the QM8 and the U8K in that sense, because I do think that you're getting more out of the processing for the TV. And that's going to be the biggest difference maker, in my opinion, for a lot of the higher end TVs. When you start paying more money, you're paying more for processing. And that's where I think that you're starting to get into that category with the Bravia XR X90L. And yes, I do think this is a hot TV and I do think it is a great Black Friday buy. I especially think the 85 inch deal is going to be a really good deal for a lot of people as well, because there's not that many great 85 inch deals. And this one is going to be a great one, in my opinion. On Q80C QLED TV, it is another 65-inch TV in that same type of price bracket. We've discussed $999. This TV is going to be a pretty decent TV overall. It's going to have your QLED technology, 120 hertz panel, all those things that you would want. But I do not like it as much as I like the Sony X90L in this price bracket. And I also like the QM8 and the U8K a little bit better than this TV as well. So for that reason, I do not think that this is a great Black Friday deal. So this is not a Black Friday deal that I would recommend. I'm not going to waste your time with this one. The Q60C, a lot of people consider this a hot Black Friday deal. I do not. I think that this is not a great Black Friday deal. And for the price, there are better TVs out there in the 55 inch category that offer you a lot more. Instead, I would go with this 55 inch U7 for a fraction of the price. And the reason why is because it is going to give you a better result in terms of picture quality as far as the TV technology goes. And it does offer you a lot in terms of value as well. And not to mention, it comes with NBA 2K24 as an added bonus. So that's pretty cool as well. The LG UQ70 is one I got a lot of questions about. People are saying this is a great Black Friday deal for $399, 65-inch TV. There's a lot to like about it, but as you go down and look at the specifications of this TV, you start to realize that this is not really going to be a great TV. If you want to look at better options out there, I will show you better options. But what we're seeing is two HDMI ports, which means that you only have two connections to your TV, whether you want to hook up a Blu-ray player or a external streaming device, a soundbar, a game console, you only have two inputs. So you are only going to have two HDMI connections on this TV. There are better TVs available. If you're just getting this TV to watch and stream on and you're not gonna hook anything up to it, I guess the HDMI connections won't matter but there are better TVs for the price. You know, you do see some that really do catch your eye. And I think this one right here is the Q5 Q class. Not only do you have three HDMI ports, which is going to be more than the LG, but it's also a QLED TV. So I do like this TV better than the LG TV. It also is going to have Google TV. So my verdict is the UQ70 is not a great Black Friday deal. 
Next one I get a lot of questions about is going to be the LG 48 inch A2. This is last year's model at this point, but it is going to be a really good option for people getting into OLED for the very first time. It is not as bright as some of the other OLED TVs, but it is going to get the job done, especially in a dark room. I really like this TV if you need this size and you're going into your first OLED and you don't need 120 hertz because it is only a 60 hertz TV. But for 549 for an OLED TV at that size, it's a pretty good deal. And I do think it is a hot TV and one I can recommend as a good Black Friday deal. So the G3 is one of the groundbreaking TVs this year. I do like this TV a lot. I think a lot of people are going to love the brightness capabilities that it can bring as an OLED TV. And it has been a fan favorite amongst a lot of people this year. And for good reason. I mean, this is a great TV. The only complaints that I have with this TV is that in game mode, it feels like the TV takes a step back in terms of picture quality. But outside of gaming, I think this TV is one of the best TVs you can buy. And for the price, I do think it's a good TV as well within that price bracket. So for $22.99 for the 65 inch, I do like this TV a lot. And I think it offers you a lot of value within the box as well as you are getting a mount in the box. And you're also going to get a five year warranty, which is nice because you don't have to buy a separate five year warranty if you were going that route anyway. Now, I do want to mention that it doesn't have a stand. So if you need a stand with it, you can get one. If you order it through LG.com, you can have a stand with your LG G3 thrown in there for free. That is an offer I would take advantage of if you are needing a stand for the LG G3. Go ahead and buy it from LG.com if you want this TV. The TCL QM8. I really like this TV a lot from what I saw at CES. So I haven't had hands on review time with this TV, but I do think that at this price range, it's hard to go wrong with. And I've seen this TV and I've also seen the U8 from Hisense, very comparable TVs. And I think either one you choose is going to be great. So yes, the TCL QM8, I put that here and I also put the U8 in here. So the Samsung S90C is one that I've talked about on this channel quite a bit. And the reason why I just love this TV is because in the price bracket, it offers technology differences that no other TV is going to offer for the same price. So you do have what I believe is the top technology in Quantum Dot OLED. It is in the same price bracket as the C3, and I do think it is a much better TV than the C3. This one is $17.99, and for a 77-inch OLED, that is unheard of. This is a really, really good deal, and I can't stress that enough. I think that if you're looking for a large size TV with the quality of an OLED, just get this. It is going to satisfy you definitely there's no doubt about it you're really splitting hairs between this and a c3 so honestly just get this you're saving so much money it is going to be a great buy for a lot of people and um, still i can't believe the price tag looking at the other size a 65 inch 12.99 is pretty good as well if you have the space for it definitely go with the 77 inch size this next one is the samsung s90c w oled and i want to specify it is a w oled which means it's not quantum dot oled like the other s90c sizes but it is 34.99 for an 83 inch oled tv that's usually unheard of and when you're talking about maybe being able to get it even cheaper through the samsung website if you're a part of their discount program then you're talking about a really good deal as well on top of that. But even at this price, the 83 inch S90C is really great. So again, I really think that, you know, at 83 inch OLED sizes, it's hard to find good deals, but this is definitely a good deal. All right, next one I get asked about quite a bit is going to be the LG QNED series and the QNED 75 series 55 inch for $599. I look at this very similar to how I look at the Samsung Q60C. Um, not really great deals, to be honest with you. There are going to be better TV options available. The Hisense U7 is a better deal than this and a better TV than this. This is a 60 hertz edgelet TV and the Hisense is going to be a 120 hertz mini LED TV. So Big difference is there and you're just going to get a better deal with the Hisense U7. So go with that over the QNET 75 or the Q60C. This is definitely not a good Black Friday TV in my opinion. So do not go with this one. 
All right, now I just want to talk about some 98 inch TVs that are at really good prices, in my opinion. So, if we're looking at 98 inch TVs, you're probably thinking these cost an arm and a leg. At $3,000 for a 98 inch TV, that's not bad at all. And the TCL S5 at that price is a good TV and it's going to be a hot Black Friday buy. I think that I like this one a lot. And for people that have the size for it, it's hard to argue against something like this for sure. Going up in quality, you are paying more for the 98 inch Q80C, but at $5,000, it is going to be a good offering as well in that 98 inch size. This is going to offer you a bit more than the last TV that we talked about, which was direct lit. This one is going to have local dimming and it is also a QLED TV. So that's really important to remember as well. No doubt about it, a better TV overall than that TCL we just talked about. All right, we also have the 100 inch U8K. This is going to be very similar to like what I just talked about with the 98 inch Samsung TV. It is $1,000 less from Hisense. So that's something to consider as well if you're looking for those large format TVs. Let me know, did I miss anything in terms of Black Friday deals? Or if there's a TV you want me to cover, just ask me that question in the comments below. I'll be sure to answer it as soon as possible. I'm also going to try to do some live streams before Black Friday, so make sure you tune into the channel for that. I'll also be posting any new deals that pop up in the community tab, so stay tuned for that. If you want to see more Black Friday videos, check out one of these videos right here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.